All right, guys, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're looking at an election rematch here between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, the former incumbent president of the United States, who will be seeking their party's nomination and hopefully, um, either of them are hopefully planning um, to um, win um, the general election. So let's take a look here at each of the states here and put them as being either safe, likely, lean, tail. But before we do that, let's take a look at the polls, though. Let's take a look here at where the polls are telling us on the general scale. So on the general scale, um, Trump does seem to be leading Biden or tying with Biden in the majority of the polls. Although here we have Biden and Trump even, then we have Trump up two, and then Biden up one. So they're basically statistically tied when you look at it. Um, the only thing I was looking at is by Trump plus two, so I immediately assumed that Trump was up. Although it was basically a tie here. Trump's just up by one point when you average it, and less than a point really. But you actually can see the election is coming down to the wire here with regards to 2020. Unlike in 2024 when the polls showed Biden within a tremendous lead, I mean, he was polling like 10 points above Trump, 12 points. One, in one poll, I remember, he was up 17 points in 2020. Although now his lead has very much diminished and he's polling extremely tight with Donald Trump. Now let's take a look here at some individual key states here. The state of Wisconsin is a state which I believe that Donald Trump will lose. The reason why is because he's consistently losing in the polling. That being said, he did lose in 2020 in the polling, but he only lost, I'd say, by 0.6%. Um, but that being said, he is still behind. He's still behind in a lot of the polling here. He is very, very much lagging Donald Trump. So I do believe that if, if um, he runs, he will win the state of Wisconsin. So let me put that as being a tilt state. Now, that being said, let me fill out some of the other states just so that way um, you know the states which I think are going to be extremely going to either side. Um, just so that you get my perspective on that. And uh, excluding Indiana. So I'll exclude Indiana. And I'll explain why later, in just a few seconds, rather. But it's obviously, the states in the East and West Coast are obviously extremely Republican or Democrat. There are states which vote extremely Republican or Democrat in any given election, and I do not believe that that will change in this election. Uh, so that's it. And that's something to note there with regards to those congressional districts and those races. That's almost the state of Wisconsin. Now let's take a look here at the state of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a state where Donald Trump does seem to be doing good in. He's up nine in this poll, up two, Biden's up two, and then here he, Biden's up three, Biden's up two. So he does seem to be doing better in Pennsylvania than he does seem to be doing in other states, although Biden is not far behind. Although the polls taken right here um, were from September, which is not far uh, that far ago since this video is being made as of October 10th. So um, you can note that there, how the polling basically is doing with Trump up nine, Trump up two. And then Biden, uh, Biden, Haley is up one though, only in only in Pennsylvania there, only one poll there with regards to Haley. But with that being said, I will give um, Pennsylvania as being tilt for Trump. I think that Trump will win the state of Pennsylvania along with his 19 electoral votes. It was worth 20 in 2020, although due to the redistricting and reapportionment in the census, which took place in 2020, it has been changed to only 19 electoral votes in the electoral college respectively. Now let's take a look here at um, some of the other states with regards to being likely. Um, Colorado is a likely state. I do believe Colorado will be a likely state for the Dems. Also, the state of Indiana will be likely for the Republicans since they won that state basically since 2012. And also, taking a look here at the electoral map here, I'm going to go ahead and get Utah as being a safe state for the Republicans in 2024. Now, taking a look here at some other states, I'm going to give other states as being lead Florida, Texas, Iowa, Ohio. These are states which used to be, um, which used to be, um, Florida, uh, Texas used to be an extremely Republican state. Ohio and Florida used to be um, extremely close states and very much of swing states. And Iowa used to be a state which was um, more towards the left in 2008 and 2012, although it has shifted to the right since Donald Trump became elected president in 2016. And Ohio has also shifted to the right since Donald Trump got elected in 2020, um, in 2016 rather. Now for the likely states here, Alaska is a state which I believe that Donald Trump will win. The reason why I'm putting it is likely not safe and not lean. The reason why is because Donald Trump won that state by a pretty good margin, although with regards to the actual percentage compared to previous elections, it did go down by a sizable margin with regards to previous elections, although he still did win it by about nine points in 2020. Taking a look here at some other states here, I'm going to go ahead and give the state of New Hampshire as being likely. The reason why is because even though Donald Trump won that state by a 0.6% margin in 2016, I'm going to give that as being a likely state because of the fact that he lost it by about 7 points in 2020, and also polling shows him behind by about 9 to 10 points in the state of New Hampshire. Now, for our next state that we want to give here is the state of Minnesota. Minnesota is a state which I believe will be um, lean for the Democrats. The reason why is because they won it in 2016 and 2020. They won it in 2016 by a smaller margin than they did in previous elections. Although that being said, 
I do think that he won it. And Joe Biden will win it since he won that state by plus 7% margin in 2020. So you can look here at some other states here. We have Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, Michigan. Uh, uh, Virginia is a state which I believe will be about lean. Um, lean, the reason why is because Joe Biden won that state by plus 5% margin, as is Hillary Clinton in 2016, and as did Barack Obama by a bigger margin in 20, 2012, and Barack Obama flipped that state in 2008. Now, it used to be a state which was reliably Republican, although now it has flipped since 2004 and become more Republican, uh, some become, become more Democrat, sorry. And I do believe that if Joe Biden is a nominee, he will win that race there in Virginia. That puts Biden at 235 and Trump at 237. Let's take a look here at some polls here in the state of Michigan. With regards to the state of Michigan, we have Trump up seven, Biden up four. We have Biden up three, Biden up one, and then Trump up two, and then Biden up one. The reason why I'm skipping some of these polls is because some of these are um, versing the Sandys. So I will skip those polls and immediately go um, to the Trump polls. So we see here in this polling data kind of a trend that Biden is leading Donald Trump in most of these polling, in most of these polls. So I will give this poll um, to uh, Joe Biden there. So I do believe that Joe Biden will win Michigan, putting him at 250 like 12 votes and Donald Trump at 237 like 12 votes. Taking a look here at some of the other states here, North Carolina is a state which I do believe will vote to Republican, and Nevada is a state which I believe will vote to Democrat. The reason why is because these are states which both candidates have won in previous elections. Since 2012, Republicans have won in the general election, including Mitt Romney and Donald Trump. And since and since 2004, um, just Democrats have won in the state of Nevada um, with regards to the actual uh, with regards to the general election, not with regards to state elections. So taking a look here at the remaining states. Um, Arizona and Florida, extremely uh, Arizona and Georgia. Those those are extremely important states there for 2024. The reason why is because Donald Trump lost these states by razor thin margins, less than 0.5% in 2020. And I do believe that it'll be extremely important in 2024. Taking a look at these states. Let's take a look here at some of the polling data coming in. We have Trump up one in basically most of the polling. Although Biden is up two in this poll. This poll was taken in June, so its credibility is doubtable. And here we have Biden up two and Biden up two in this poll. This poll was taken in May, so its credibility is again doubtable. To some extent, although we do have Biden up here in some of the polls here, although Trump is up in more recent polling, so I will give the state of Arizona to Donald Trump if Donald Trump's the nominee, and also for the state of Georgia. Georgia is a state which I do believe will go to President Trump. The reason why is he seems to be doing pretty good in most of the polling here, so I will give it to President Trump, putting him on taking the presidency with 280 electoral votes, and also taking likely one of the congressional districts in the state of Maine and Joe Biden tilt winning. The state, one of the congressional districts in the state of Nebraska. The reason why I'm giving it is being killed for Joe Biden with regards to one of the congressional districts in the state of Nevada is because of the fact that the Omaha region is extremely liberal, and that's the reason I'm going to give it to Joe Biden. But guys, that is my final election prediction video, you guys. This is an extremely, extremely close election prediction video, guys. If you just change one or two of these states, you could easily have a, um, a Biden victory. For example, let's say Arizona were to flip. Arizona, If Arizona were to flip, it still would be a Trump victory, but barely. Um... If Georgia were to flip, it would be a Biden victory. If Pennsylvania were to flip, it would be a Biden victory. It would be. It is an extremely, extremely close race, guys. We have Biden at 257 and Trump at 281. This race is going to be extremely close. It's just going to come down to a few states, guys, really. And, guys, even the betting odds have Biden. Let me go back up here. Have Trump up here. Although that being said, their betting odds, I don't really like to go off of betting odds. Betting odds gave Hillary Clinton a huge surge in 2020, in 2016. And they gave Biden a big chance of winning the election in 2020. 2020. But the fact of the matter is, guys, individual polls matter. General election, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Nevada polls. Those are the ones that matter, guys. So make sure that you subscribe, like, help the algorithm, guys. That extremely helps me out, guys, because only um, less than 0.5% of my viewers actually have subscribed to this channel. So if you do me a quick favor, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind, please run in the comment section down below. Um, if any disagreements that you have, I'm happy to respond to any disagreements that you have within one or two days. I will respond to any disagreements which you may have with regards to my electoral college map. Well, guys, subscribe, like, help the algorithm. I'll see you guys in the next video.